Tammy Scarborough is here from the Goodnight Ranch. You're the lead educator. Right. And this is what I love, Sheldon. She knows everything. Oh, I don't everything. know about that. No, I think, <laughs> listen, you do. And I, I really am a big fan. Thank you. Of, Thank of you. the Goodnight Ranch. And, and I go by, and I'm so glad I asked you this. Mm -hmm. Sheldon, you can go out of Claude, right. and you see Goodnight. And, and you gave me some information that I didn't even know oh, about really? Goodnight yeah. right there. Yeah. And I want people to know because I was like, well, where's the town? Right. So the town is located um, across Highway 287 from the historic home at Goodnight Ranch. Um, uh, not any of the original buildings are there now, but yeah. we do still have some lovely people who live in Goodnight. Sure. There's a lot. There's a lot of folks. Yeah. And I didn't realize that Charles Goodnight... It's so weird because I'm like, I feel like I know him and I do not. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm a weirdo. But I just, he gave that land. And, yes. And, and you're telling me back in the, there was a college, good night yes. college. Yes. So, um, of course, the house that they built was one of the first structures in the panhandle. And as the, um, the settlers were moving uh, west, they would invite them in and then they would encourage them to settle in this area. And so that's why he donated the land um, for the town of Goodnight. And then they established a co ed college called Goodnight College. What? Yeah. I love yeah. him. Yeah. I love Charles Goodnight. <laughs> yeah, I always love hearing about that history and everything. And of course, I mean, that's what Goodnight Ranch is mm -hmm. all about these days. And it Absolutely. sounds like you'll have some really interesting events coming up. Oh, talking we about do. the history. I mean, Texas as a whole, and of course, you know, right here in the painting. Tell yes. us a little more about what's coming up at Goodnight Ranch. Um, well, on May 18th, we are having a, a Taste of Ranch Life, which is our big spring event. And um, we are going to have everything from a blacksmith coming out to do um, demonstrations. Ooh, cool. We're going to do hay rides down to the rim of the canyon. Um, we're right there on Paladura Canyon. Neat. Um, and then we're going to have a porch swings food truck come out. We'll have ladies oh. doing some uh, like embroidery and weaving. And we just want to show people what it was like in the early days of the panhandle. So that's, that's our big event coming up. But all this year we are doing a series of programming uh, called the Red River War series because it's the 150th anniversary of the Red River War, which is a huge part of our panhandle history. History. And so we have speakers. We just kicked it off with um, Native American storyteller uh, uh, Eldrina Duma. Yes. She was wonderful. We loved her so much that she's going to come back in October. Oh, and, uh, good. Yeah. Good. good. So, um, yeah, just lots of fun things like that. And you can um, follow us on Facebook or Instagram for more information on those events. But, uh, yeah, it's a great place to come see because it's a huge part of the story of the Panhandle. Well, here's one thing that I did not realize. You and I talked about for just a second. There's a lot of people locally mm -hmm. that don't know the story that of is Charles right. and Molly Goodnight and don't right. know about the heritage. And, and do we say... Um, and I always get it wrong. Do we say the father of the Texas Panhandle? Yes, he is known as the father of the Texas yeah, Panhandle. Yeah, yeah. And he invented the chuck wagon. Not oh a lot my of people gosh. know that. And so yes. we have an authentic chuck wagon that's been restored at oh. the Goodnight Ranch. We'll have it out on May 18th. Oh. Um, and then also he and Molly, Molly first, um, are credited with saving the Southern, America, uh, the Southern Plains bison herd. Yes. Uh, from extinction. And, we, and it, can, we can see those. We have three descendants of that herd uh, on the property. <laughs> and then, of course, the herd that's at Caprock Canyon State Park, um, which is our official Texas bison herd, they um, are also direct descendants of that herd they saved. So huge, huge part of our history. And so I love that I get to still go into schools and do programs um, and help them learn about our local history as well. Mm -hmm. And it's always fascinating stuff for sure. And like you're saying, you find on Facebook. What yes. else can, and what else can people do when they just want to know more about the Good Night Ranch? Um, well, come out and see us. We yes. are open Tuesday through Saturday. We do tours of the historic home at 11, 1, and 3. Oh, okay. And so um, you can come out and uh, learn more about that. Um, of course, we have a website uh, through the Texas uh, Historical Commission. Um, and so, you know, and then just dig in yourself. Yeah. Um, Panhandle Plains Museum, they have lots of things about Good Night. And so um, we, just, we just love telling the story. Yeah, and it's a, it's a fascinating one for yeah. sure. Yeah. Tammy, you have the best job. Oh, I do. You have the I best do. job. I will not argue. Well, we want to come, and I'm so excited, May 18th. Yes. We want folks to come one out. One to four. One mm -hmm. to four. Mm -hmm. And 
please come back or oh, let us come out and see you. Absolutely. I think that's, Sheldon, what we need to do. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we, we'll yeah. we'd love to have you out. We'll, well, we'll set you. it up. Thank you. So neat. Thank you so much. I love it. I love it.